this bike begs to be thrown into the corners as opposed to stock. If it was a stock setup, usually I'd kind of just taper into the turns, but with this setup, I try to take every turn at like max speed. So it's, it's a really fun bike. Um, that coupled with the sound of the engine, uh, it just makes you want to pull the throttle even more. My name is Jeffrey Andango. I am the owner of JTEC Moto here in uh, Los Angeles, California. Here we have a 1982 XV750, uh, also known as a Virago. So this bike is themed after the Le Mans race when uh, Ford won the races. And it has so much history with the colors and the, the feel of the bike. And it really adds to the classic look of the bike mixed with the contemporary features. So we really wanted to go in that direction. And just, it's just the theme all overall just looks really good. All right, so the seat is uh, from toughside.com. Uh, he's here local here in LA. We went ahead and went with the theme of the, the Le Mans, the Le Mans paint job um, with the vintage number plate. Uh, you know, uh, this was, as I said, this was a joint client design and he wanted the number 1111, so we went ahead and added that to another plate and up here. The tank is off a of KZ of 750, I believe. Uh, we had this modified and added in to give it like a little modern look uh, as opposed to the stock old, old setup. Top tree clamp is a one-off from Cognito Moto. He machined it for the build. The ace wheel gauge is a uh, popular among most builders. It's all in one. It reads like RPM, miles per hour, and everything else. We went with aluminum aftermarket levers matching the headlight brackets. The signals are integrated into the front and it has a LED bulb inside. The whole front end is off a of 05 R1. It's a six piston dual caliper brake setup. Uh, these are EVC rotors. Uh, we went with uh, Dunlops with the, these graphics, give it that vintage feel. The front wheel is a R1, 17 inch. We made these uh, little brackets to hold the steel braided lines in place. Small detail that adds to the, the whole design of the bike. We switched out the carbs to Makuni VM34s with aluminum intake housings. Uh, we went ahead and jetted it for um, the exhaust and the air, air filter intake. Not sure who made the exhaust, but it's aftermarket, bolt-on. Um, we, we modified it to give it this little angle bend to match the lines of the rest of the bike, though. These are just eBay find uh, rear sets, but we went ahead and set it out to get it polished along uh, with the linkage and the rear frame plate, just to add like uh, polished accents throughout the bike. The rear wheel is actually off a second generation Virago, 84 and up. There are five spokes just to match the, the five spokes of the R1 front wheel. So, you know, it really ties the front and rear wheel together. So it looks like it's a part of the bike. The rear shock is Hagon. Uh, it's a direct bolt-on shock for the for the Virago, so we didn't have to worry about fabricating anything in for that. Rear tail light is a LED um, setup, flexible. The company that makes it is Radiance. Uh, I've been using a lot of their stuff for a lot of my builds. Um, they're like waterproof and they're really bright. As you can see right now, it's like the middle of the day and they're still blinding you.